Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code Arcade. In this video, we will be discussing about the structure of a C++ program. In the earlier video, we discussed about what is C++, also covered the application part as well. So if you missed that video, the link is mentioned in the i button as well as in the description. So before we move forward, please subscribe to our channel Code Arcade and press the bell icon so you won't miss any future update related to this C++ playlist. So let's begin. A C++ program are collection of statements or instructions and C++ program structure is made up of these statements or instructions. Now C++ program is divided into three sections that is standard library section, main function section and the function body section. We will be looking this in detail. So this is an example to print hello world to get your concept clear on structure of a C++ program. The first one is standard library section. It consists of header files. Here hash include iostream. It is used to store the input and output statement. Hash is preprocessor and include is a keyword. So together hash include is way of including standard or user defined files in the program. This header files basically contains the predefined function. After iostream we have using namespace std. Now this namespace is a prefix that is applied to all names in a certain set and std is the abbreviation for standard. std is the namespace whose members are used in the program. cout, scene, etc. are the members of this std namespace. So now what is the use of this using namespace std? Using namespace you can define the context in which names are defined. Namespace defines a scope and it is not necessary or mandatory to write namespace always. Simply use scope resolution whenever you want to use the members of std. For example, when you have to use cout scene, give this scope resolution double colon. Now the second section is the main function section. So every C and C++ program has at least have one main function. The main function serve as a starting point for a program execution. We can make n number of function in a single program, but we can't make n number of main function. Every program has at least have one main function. The starting point of all C++ program is the main function. And after main, these curly brackets signifies the start of a block of code and a program body will be written inside these curly brackets. Now the last section is function body section. The name cout is short for character output and display whatever is between these angular brackets. Symbols such as these angular brackets can behave like a function and are always used with the keyword cout. Here return 0 is mentioned. The return keyword tells the program to return a value to function int main. So now what happens when you return a value from a function? So as soon as statement is executed the flow of program stops immediately and return control from where it was called in other words return is used to escape the function and returning the value 0 simplify allows it to exit the code also returning with 0 claims the successful execution of your code so this is all about the structure of a c++ program also for our valuable viewers we are providing offline and online training with certified courses on C++, Python, C, Java, automation testing, manual testing, SQL and much more. For joining our courses, you can contact us by email and mobile number. The details are given in the description and also in the about section. So that's all about C++ guys. In the next video, we will see some basics of C++ in very detail. If you have any doubt regarding anything, just mention it in the comment section. We will glad to reply you there. And thank you for watching this video. This is Saurabh. See you in the next one. Stay tuned.